Welcome back to another tier list with Sendel. Here we are going to do a tier list on the best solo cube operators in Operation Brutal Swarm. So here we're going to list ops uh, based on which ops are good to play if you're by yourself. You can't rely too much on the team. I mean, you can calm occasionally, but when you're by yourself and you're just, you know, just trying to play a decent op. So we're going based off like 50-50 with like gun and utility. So utility like like an op like let's say like thermite might not be in the s tier that he should be because as a solo player it is going to be tough to really get much use out of thermite so thermite will be the b tier because that gun is still fairly good and um the utility is pretty good no but you're gonna be required to use that with a, another decent teammate Cleave! What up, baby? Appreciate the sub. All right, let's go, Ace. Ace, I feel like Ace is the best hard breacher when it comes to uh, playing as a solo. And you can also breach. So, like, he is, like, kind of the Swiss Army knife of the hard breach. So, I feel like he is definitely the best breacher. And we have Hibana. Hibana, I feel like, is also around the Thermite because sometimes you just can't get anything open. And you just kind of meh. Hard breacher. Decent utility though. Cade as a solo is another B tier. Like, actually, no, Cade, 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 Cade's an S here because you can keep walls closed, you can keep everything closed. The guns are a little, little whack, wacky, but if you can keep it closed and the other team is like kind of solo too, like it's really nice to have a Cade. So, all right, we're gonna do them all in order now. All right, Alibi S tier for sure. Decent gun, decent utility. Uh, you can set up the site. And then you can just run around like a jackass and kill everybody. So this really good up. Emru. Emru on the solo. Honestly, I'm gonna place the Emru at the C tier because we might be able to go for some solo queue plays, but they're gonna be very situational and far in between. Like it's not gonna happen too often. So B tier, I feel this fairly nicely. Aruni. Aruni the B tier. You can set up the site. And then you can run around with the DMR and kind of do your thing. So defenders are a little bit easier to get away with, but. He's going for Alba. Yeah, no, Alba's gun is great. Ash. I feel like Ash as a solo player is going to be more at the A tier. I want to place Mob probably near the B tier, but we're going to place Ash at the A tier purely because it is just a lot of fun to play Ash and you can like roam across the map. You don't have to deal with whatever the wall, happening at the wall. Like you're not expected to. You just push it from the other side of the map and kind of push your way over. No. Yeah. Azami. S tier always. A zombie's just way too strong. Even when you're by yourself. It is what it is. A zombie's just great. Bandit. First D tier. Bandit tricking alone with no one helping you is probably the one of the dumbest things you can do in Rainbow Six Siege. You are going to die. If you can ban a trick, hell yeah. But if you're solo and you can't really rely on anybody to help you with the bandit trick, you are probably going to die. And it's not going to be worth your life most of the time. Bandit is not bad if you can make it work and you have people working with you, but I'm thinking in a solo situation that, you know, you can't get that much teamwork out of your teammates. So this is more for like the the guys that are like in that gold low pot range where you're kind of having to rely just on yourself. Bandit's gun is good and you have Nitro, but like most of the time you're better off picking just another op. Like there's some situations where you can ban a trick, but it's not gonna happen too often. You win this every season? Yes, I am. Blackbeard, D tier, easy mode. Like that's just horrible. Do, do I need to explain this? Like it's just, it's just bad. Everything about this kid is bad. I mean, the shield is annoying when you hit the shield, but he's just bad. Blitz, so Blitz, normally I, with a team, I'd place him more like B tier because you can get a lot of use out of him. But here I'm gonna place him more towards the lower end. So I feel like Blitz, is gonna be more in the low end of the D tier. I kind of want to place it a little bit higher. Like Monty can be the C tier, but Blitz rushes don't work very well by yourself. Monty push. I mean, you can you can push around by yourself as a Monty. A little bit easier than a Blitz. Blitz, you have to be very calculated on what you do. So, Buck, Buck on the solo. Honestly, A tier. You have a good gun. You have a hard breach gadget. You can basically do whatever you've got to do. You can play as a hard breacher and you can also, you know, decent gun and soft breach. So you have literally every type of breach and you're good. Like 
low key almost almost S tier, but gonna be A. Capital T tier. Capital can, does have a hard breach, so you can get a lot of use out of it. But your fire and like a lot of times with Capital is like post plant kind of stuff, like helping with the plant. It just you're not gonna get a lot of use out of Capital. Yeah. Castle definitely D tier. Don't even need to think about it. Castle while you're solo is going to be one of the worst operators to pick. If you are doing a castle strat and you don't have a team of people that know what the hell you're doing, you are going to get your teammates killed or castle them out of sight and they're not going to know how to get back. You're making a labyrinth for your team to have to deal with as well. Not great when you're alone. Guevara, seats here, can work. These, I mean, you have a shotgun and a pistol that are both pretty good at close range and you can just run around. Just the mental game of having a Kavera is pretty strong. Like knowing like, oh, we can't run around. There's a Kavera. It's pretty strong. I definitely think it's definitely not D tier right now, but I feel like C tier is fairly fine. Jaeger. Jaeger is, uh, I feel like Jaeger is going to be S tier. I thought about it, thought about it for a second, but uh, Jaeger is S tier because you can place your utility and you can run around and do your own thing and just kind of go, go nuts. Just go nuts, so. Clash, definitely DJ. Don't even think about it. That Clash solo situation is going to be horrible. Doc, so this is where it starts to get a little weird. So, Doc, I want my first inclination is to put him at D, but I'm going to place the Doc at C as well as with the Rook because if you get the picks, you know, it, it makes sense. And I could get, you can't get some use out of this in the solo queue, at least in like the mid range elo like it, this isn't necessarily horrible to have one of these at a time if you have both it's like you're not gonna have something but like coastline if you have a rook and a dock you might be okay doke doke a tier easy be able to roam clear without having to join anybody is kind of kind of money so yeah definitely a, a tier guns are a little rough to use on doke but the ability is more than makes up for it yeah this is a solo queue tier list when you're basically have very little comms with your team and you're playing this operator how effective they're going to be for you so echo d tier i mean is that echo by himself is a b to an a tier i think but echo alone is horrible it's horrible all right you're, who are you giving comms who are you gonna call out for yourself and then what <laughs> no hello this is this is kind of a, a weird tier list guys it, it's a solo queue tier list where you you're basically you can come but expect not to, like I'm, I'm doing this for like the people that are like i play it mostly by myself how do i get better at this game these are the ops i want you like you need to focus on the a the s a b list of operators and you will win a lot more games because i see a lot of people that are stuck in lower elo playing a lot of these operators and they don't get why and they don't have a team and they just solo queue all the time i'm telling you if you play these operators a lot and you're solo you're probably not going to be winning very many games so Finka, c tier c tier Finka is just think is okay not great at anything really besides the healing which the healing is pretty pretty good on attack but other than that the guns are kind of meh kind of mid and no grenade utility anymore so Flores Flores I'm gonna place at the he's just tricky one I'm gonna place him at B because I'm not really sure where to put Flores and sometimes when you're Flores they're gonna run out on you and it's gonna suck or your team's all gonna be dead while using your while you're using your drones and you're by yourself in a 1vx but I feel like if if you kind of figure out how to use Flores in a decent way like Flores is solid I think B is fine for him then we have Frost. That's an easy S tier. Don't need to think about it. Traps on doors, traps on windows. You have a shield if you want, good gun. And you have a secondary shotgun for making the sight. So Frost, definitely a solid up. It's kind of, think of Frost like you're picking smoke, but you don't have to use smoke's guns. Speaking of smoke, smoke, S tier. I mean, basically thing, same thing as Frost, just no traps, but you do have plant denial or at least door denial or window denial. Or like, you know, just keep them back for a bit. All right, and then you have the mute again like kind of like smoke and frost like you can set up the site you have a nitro and then you also have intel denialons you know everyone's gonna want to solo drone themselves so that's gonna help a lot because instead of peeking with their drone they're gonna peek you with their face 
Yeah, this is a tier list for solo queue. I am currently Diamond 1 in Rainbow Six Siege on PC. All right. This is for solo queue. If you're playing by, if you hit solo queue by yourself right now, this is the tier list for you. Fuse, definite deeds here. If you go upstairs by yourself as Fuse and you start just fusing willy nilly, I, it's just not going to work, bro. Like, it's just, on theory, you're shooting. Oh my God. Like, when I first played Rainbow, I look at Fuse, I'm like, oh my God, Fuse is probably the best operator in the game. You can shoot grenades through the wall. Like, but. In theory, you're gonna go upstairs, you're gonna shoot like one fuse bomb or two, and then someone's gonna flank you, you're gonna die. And it, it's so hard to watch your own flanks. So, your D2, shut up. <laughs> I'm 10 points away from Diamond 1, and I was D1 today. Glass, D tier, easy. Glass, butt. Glass is not gonna work out very well in this solo queue situation. Boom. Goyo! Goyo! What does it put it more of the beats here? The guns are pretty nice. The nitro, you, you have that like kind of ability with smoke and the fires are useful. Even <laughs> your teammates are going to see them and they can just act for them whenever they need to. So what going to be beats here. Could be maybe moved up a little bit, but we're going to leave them there. Ayana. Ayana, we're going to place. Okay, the, I'm going to kind of do these all at once. Grenades. Grenades. Let, let's explain more than just grenades though. Ayana, probably one of the best duelists in the game. Currently the best entry operator in the game. Just good guns. And your ability just to rescan when you're out of drones is kind of nice. So you leave your drones for flanks and then you can just scan forward. So you, you kind of know and people can refrag off your off your clone. It's kind of great. Nook, you are silent. You can walk around, especially with the suppressor buff. You basically full suppressed. And you also have grenades. So rat, king rat. Sludge, good guns, you have grenades, and you also have the soft breach, so working the vert, working whatever, like, Sludge is great to have, because you have unlimited soft breach, so, boom. Gridlock. Uh, Gridlock, we're gonna place the gold gritty at the D. Ah, we'll place Gridlock at C tier, because Gridlock at solo queue, I feel like might be a little bit more useful than some of these other D tier operators, like, you know, having tracks, if, I mean, if you, are pushing by yourself and you're like just throwing checks around i mean i know your team's gonna be probably somewhat around you but if you cannot rely on them i feel like they're like isn't necessarily the worst thing to have jackal a tier it is very easy to coordinate on a roam clear when you are jackal when you are even playing alone because like i mean they see the red scan they know that this guy's getting scanned and they can help pitch him off or kill him so iq d tier don't even think about it i mean your utilities what are you gonna do? Like, what? Like, just tell me what, what you're. What are you gonna do as IQ by yourself? Like, come on. You ain't doing nothing. Sorry, but you ain't that guy, pal. You ain't that guy. Cali, I love Cali. <laughs> I want to place Cali higher, but Cali is just Cali is just not it, Chief. Like, you can help open the wall, but I will place him at C because that gun is kind of nice. Like, Cali sniper is pretty nice, and you can help open the wall. Earn utility, maybe get a K claw or two. So you do a little bit, but very situational. <coughs> oh, I know, I know, Rain. The TikTok nonsense right now is nuts. This is solo queue by yourself, tier list. This is solo queue. IQ cannot do anything by yourself. You have breaching charges, cool, and a claymore. That's just kind of default. You have decent guns. Guns aren't bad for IQ, sure, but your utility is worthless. Your utilities are going to do absolutely nothing. So, Capkin, speaking of which, S tier. Yeah, I put Capkin at S tier. Caps are nice, especially when you get free kills across the map for nothing. Great. This is a solo queue tier list, so you can get all as mad as you want, little man. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Capkin, getting free kills across the map, kind of nice. And... If you play around your Capkins, they have to swing either you or the trap, and then they're exposed and you get freebies. There you go. Legion. Legion, I'm placing at the A tier. It's kind of like Capkin. I don't low key want to place Legion at the S tier just based off a of personal preference. Mm. I feel like Legion is just the best roamer, bro. I feel like he's just the best roamer. Like, being able to run around 
place your traps in doorways or in windows so you know where to look at any given moment is just great and the impacts if you want to impact trick or hit quick rotations i feel like legion is probably one of the best roamers in the game so i'm placing legion in s here you can suck my dick lion i'm gonna place in the beats here because lion's kind of like that the quote-unquote new thatcher in my eyes like you're working with a thermite to emp the wall and then you you also have the scan which is kind of nice <laughs> make show d2 don't even think about it the lmg is great and you can actually i will place it up it's here all right i'll, I'll be a little, i'll be a little, little nice you can at least set up the site unlike echo you can't do any of that so you can at least set up the site and you have a cool gun and you have cams but you know camera by yourself is kind of like i don't want to say any other analogies are already dirty enough maverick maverick used to be s tier but with those emp impacts honestly I feel like Maverick got a downgrade, personally. Maverick is nice to play, but no grenades definitely hurts the map, especially when you're by yourself. Like, it's just, I, I don't know. I, I feel like it's just Maverick's a little lackluster. You can't get a lot of utility out of Maverick. Like, let's say we're play, playing Clubhouse. I can just open the wall by myself as Maverick, no problem. I don't need to rely on anybody else. It, even when I'm by myself, like I just open it by myself. Like, I'm good to go. But it is hard to do all that stuff. So I'm, I'm making this, you know, it took map nades so map if we had talking about nades he's a tier like sorry s tier no problem but malusi s tier anti-rats i guarantee you, you if you bring a malusi malusi will win you rounds more than you expect people will not be able to crouch walk up to you and kill your entire team it is great and you can run around like a crazy person and just go nuts and kill everybody so great up mira mira i want to place mira at the a tier. No, I wouldn't place Mira the S tier. Mira's, Mira's just OP as hell. I, I'm trying to think, like, it's kind of annoying to play a three armor, and Mira's, like, kind of expected to be behind your shield. But Mira's still really strong, so. Mira's amazing, so. Definitely S tier. Mozzie! A tier. L a little bit less utility than the other roamers up above, like the Alibi as well as the Oryx. We're going to talk about Oryx in a second, but. A little bit less utility to move around the map, but we'll have a nitro and you can gather drones for intel. You can kind of do your, like you can work work some like nitros from underneath, like kind of Valkyrie or like pulls. So you can do some interesting things with Mozzie. So Mozzie is pretty fun though. Oryx is one of the best romans in the game. Uh, being able to move around the map, make rotates whenever you need to, and uh, decent gun with a 1.5. You are probably shitting on half the team if you're playing Oryx or Alibi. So boom. Nomad. A tier nomad is nice when you're just kind of walking around just you know it's think of like ice climbers like you're, you're like climbing up a mountain and you place your air jabs as you as you're like going around so like you know they can't just like push you from that angle without having to deal with that air jab so knowing that you're clear from a certain angle is really nice because you can't really rely too much on your team to actually be watching it so this is a solo q tier list osa osa is going to be beats here because osa is like lion in the way of the quote unquote the new thatcher so these are ops are going to be played a lot in tandem with another hard breach and if you see your teammate has a hard breach and you go lion or osa i mean you bring emp impacts and work with the hard breach and you guys should probably be fine look on the wall so pulse at the eights here pulse is one five is pretty great uh but i feel like when pulse is played Pulse himself, his ability is more of a B tier. Like overall, I feel like it's more of a B tier, but it's A tier because when they, when they have a pulse, it kind of triggers a reaction from the attackers to have to, hey, we have to go clear the pulse. We can't just ignore the pulse. And it forces them to have to worry about the pulse, and it, which gives you a lot of opportunity to mess with them. So. Um, Tachanka. D tier, I mean, just, I mean, you can set up the site, but you're going to die with that flame launcher out. I'm telling you right now, it's just going to happen. I already, I already know. Like, just, just don't. Thorn, B tier, you can't really set up the site. You're kind of, you have a shield, but you, and your traps are kind of like proxy alarms, but you're not really going to get kills with your traps more than likely, but your gun is amazing. So you can definitely run around and shoot people down and, you know, people don't think, see Thorn as a complete throw. You can get a lot done. Thatcher S tier, I mean, these guys have EMP impacts, but Thatcher has an easier EMP. Like it's just, it just, 
Sometimes you have to drone out where the cave fly is or whatever, but faster you can don't even have to drone out. Like you just like huck it and you're good. Like it's just the radius is way bigger. And you get more. So that's just S here, but he's probably always gonna be banned, so it is what it is. Thunderbird, A tier, great op, good assault rifle, ability to heal your your team as well as I mean yourself. So you can run around, go nuts, and when you come when you have one health, you come back, heal up all the way. Pretty great. Valkyrie, Valkyrie. <laughs> so like I placed the other camera ops like Echo and Major pretty low, but Valkyrie is going to be more of an A tier because when I think of Valkyrie, I'm thinking of a more aggressive camera player, and you're trying to play off your cameras in like a more aggressive way, like nitros or like playing like like swinging off your cameras, etc. So Valkyrie is going to be a little bit more of an A tier. Could be an S tier, like if you really want to, you know. Could be an S tier. I, I kind of want to place the Valkyrie at S tier. I will. I, I, I'll, I'll do it. Valkyrie, I, I feel like Valkyrie is, is the best camera operator in the game. Echo is a second. That's why Echo is so strong because Valkyrie is normally always banned. And Echo's cams can move around. Valkyrie has, only has one extra camera and those cams can't move. So, but <laughs> Valkyries, I'm throwing them and forgetting about it. And I can move around the map and maneuver. Echo, I have to sit on my camera and maneuver it around. So I'm very exposed in those situations. Valkyrie. I'm not as exposed because like I just look at the camera and I move I get off Twitch is an a tier operator you can burn a lot of utility the captain traps etc and you just have an amazing gun to just shoot everybody down so not really much to say about twitch which is a very simple operator if you don't know maneuver the camera you should be helping the hard bridges pretty well vigil Vigil C tier, you can get a lot of use out of Vigil, like on the Rome game, like it is just really obnoxious having to hunt down a Vigil because you never really know where he's, where he's at. So you always feel like you're in danger. And uh, yeah, so, but he doesn't really bring much utility other than that, like mental side of the siege. So, well, my S tier, stop grenades and amazing gun with impacts. Like everything about Wumai's kit is just OP as hell. So Wumai, easy S, you don't even have to think about it. Ying. I'm gonna place Ying at the B tier because I feel like those Candela nerf did hurt Ying a bit. But you have the Harbridge gadget, you have a you have a pretty good gun. Ying could potentially be an A tier operator. I'm gonna place Ying at the A tier because as a solo op, it is kind of nice. You have a bunch of flashes that we use whenever you have a hard breach and you have a, a pretty good LMG that you can use whatever you want. So overall, like basically like a Swiss Army knife to do whatever you gotta do. Zero. D tier, easy, don't even think about it. Good gun, great gun. Gadget, not bad, but who's watching your cameras, buddy? Nobody. Thank you. Sophia, S tier, great gun. Two concussion, two concussion grenades, two impact grenades, Claymore's or breach, amazing all overall operator on the soft destruction entry kind of vibe. So boom. Sense. E tier, I don't even have to think about it. I mean, yeah, you got you got a lot of everything. I mean, maybe maybe C tier if you could somehow make make th this work, good for you. But I I, I feel like sense is I haven't tried the gun recently. I, I feel like this gun got nerfed. Someone told me this, but sense overall to me <coughs> has been dog. So I'm placing sense low. You have the same kind of ability as like a ying. You have a soft breach. So you have a hard breach. You have the smokes but i feel like sense is really easy to counter you can just impact or nitro the smokes and they're, they're gone warden a tier it's fun to play warden is i mean that gun is great you have a nitro you never have to worry about flash bangs or smokes or anything like that you can just kind of run around and just smoke everybody on the game grim as a solo queue operator i'm going to place at the c tier grim is not really a solo queue operator because when he uses gadget you are exposed and they can swing you and deal with you very easily. So at his core, he's not a solo operator, but you can get a lot of use. The gun is, I mean, it's a commando and uh, you can get a lot of use out of his gadgets. You have five, so it's a lot of burn. I can just, I like shooting them all day. Like even if there's ADSs, I just power right through the ADSs and we're good to go. This is the tier list guys. This is my solo queue operator tier list. This is when you're playing by yourself, you hit ranks and you just play it. I definitely suggest if you are struggling by ranking up, try operators close to the higher up range. If you're playing the operators in the CD range, there might be a reason 
that you can't rank up while you're by yourself essentially if you guys have any opinions on who to move up down left right make sure to drop it down in the comments below guys on twitch i mean let me know who do you want me to move up or down and give me a reason why i'll just say hey Zedville, you're done move it up move it down but give me a reason and we'll talk about it really quick for like a couple minutes and then i'm gonna go play ranked with athenio and zonki <laughs> but uh i think overall i think overall this is a pretty solid list um solo, solo queue operators obviously what about the yellow recruit no no recruits why frost why is frost s tier frost has a good secondary shotgun a lot of utility frost bats to stop people and that gun is crazy good if you played it recently everything about frost screams good operator all right guys but yeah if you guys have any other questions or you feel like an operator should go up or down let me know um i i rate the operators attackers or defenders based on as the as the attacker uh, compared to other attackers and defenders compared to other defenders don't just be like hey why is nook so high but smoke is lower like don't do any of that don't compare attackers and defenders but guys if you have any opinions on where operators should go up or down make sure to drop it down below in the comments and make sure to subscribe you drop a comment and uh, leave a like for more peace out guys till next time